So, hey, Terry Omnis, I am Ruminus, and today we are continuing on with our October Spooky Games with Amnesia The Dark Descent. Now, I do have the collection. Um, I'm going to play through Justine a little bit, probably, uh, just, to, just to remember if it's scary. I do remember that Machine for Pigs, although is atmospheric, is not very scary. So, we're going to go with the original, see what we can do. Start a new game. Enemies will spot you more easily. Tinder boxes are hard to come by. Auto save is disabled, and saving your game costs Tinder boxes. Losing your sanity will kill you. No. The reason being is I don't know this game well enough. To be honest, I didn't really enjoy this game, and that's just because it's not my type of horror. Not being able to attack or retaliate or do anything doesn't really increase fear in me. It just makes it frustrating to me. It just it makes it kind of stupid where I have to sit there and just wait. Because I, because at that point for me the the engagement and immersion of the game is broken. Because I know that the game is running certain programs and certain things. Can I skip this? No. Because I know the game is just running certain programs and it's more it's more likely I'm either gonna get caught or I won't. If I if I hid properly, sure. If I didn't, oh well. It's just, there's not really much. There's nothing else for me to do. So it doesn't really uh, scare me as much as it just frustrates me. I understand that's a very personal. That's that's how I perceive. The, these types of games. A lot of people like games like this and Outlast that really force you to kind of hide and not have anything, but it's not really, it's not really for me. Oh, oh, I'm drunk. I'm drunk, everybody. I don't have any sort of light source, so this is unfortunate. I can't really see anything. Can I pick up this bottle of wine? Ooh, I can just toss it, though. <gasps> oh, sorry, ghosts. I didn't know I was going to break it. I didn't know the game did that. Uh, this game is legitimately too dark to see anything. Uh, graphics... Maybe 1.4? Like, yeah, I legitimately could not see anything. And that's another thing in this game, is that for anything with limited resources, Outlast does this too, again, that's why I don't like it too much. Where, it, again, it doesn't make me afraid. It just makes me annoyed when I can't see anything. Limiting vision, obviously, and limiting visions and sounds and stuff can make it scary. But for me, if it's pitch black, I'm like, well, there's nothing to be for me for me to be afraid of. I don't know why I stumbled so much with it. There's nothing for me to be afraid of because I can't see anything. I can't interact with this. I can't engage with this. So if something just pops out, and I'm like, well, I couldn't do anything about that. This again, I'm just gonna run through because it's gonna be luck. It's gonna be whether or not I, I win or lose. There's there's really nothing I else I can do. Well, this is a nice room. I like this room. I don't like this room anymore. This room is scary. It's a very drafty castle here. Witnessing on suddenly events to reduce your sanity. Well, you win some, you lose some. Part of the problem with turning up the brightness is I don't know if I'm in pure darkness or not. I'm dying for some reason. Like everything's shaking. It's not even that dark. I can clearly see everything. Monsters beware. I have a lantern now. Another issue I have with these types of games is the only way to increase, improve, or recover your insanity is by progressing with the game, which means that once it dips below a certain point, there's no real reason for me to be careful anymore. My sanity is already as low as it's gonna get, so there's no point in trying to do anything else. I might as well just run through. Which is nothing. I don't know if this game does it. I know it makes like random sounds and stuff. What this game should have done, it may, I don't remember it fully, but have you hallucinate enemies? Whatever, I'll deal with that later, lady. I got a whole castle to explore. You're not that important. Uh, but what it should have done is made you hallucinate enemies, which would have made it more difficult, because now I don't... That would make you be more careful, because now, in order for me to prevent, you know, getting attacked, or not knowing I'm gonna get attacked, I actually want to keep my sanity so that I know real from fake. And so, like I said, one of the problems I have with the design of these type of games is, because I'm on limited resources, I'm just kind of going to sprint through the entire game. Which is obviously not what they want, they want you to actually soak it in be afraid to move, but it doesn't work on me, because I have limited resources, I'm encouraged to move along, so I don't waste them. G give me it. G give me, give me. What about the top one? Nope. Nothing. Another letter I don't care about. Are there secrets in here? Can I pick up these books? Alright, just gonna make a mess. Oh, this place is huge! What is this? Useless. Why was that scary? I broke it. Someone's playing the piano over there. That's fine. 
This is what I mean. Like, the, it runs out so quickly. You're not supposed to use it that often. Well, it, it, I, I can't see anything. The game is dark as sin. I've had black Crayola markers that are brighter than this. Man, you're gonna want to fix that. Especially in London, man. It rains, like, always. It does nothing but rain. It's all rain all day. Sometimes it rains while it's raining. It's really, it's really a problem. Okay, let's go in here. Yeah, 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 whatever. I gotta go. I don't have time to look at whatever terrifying thing is happening. And this is what I mean. This is why it's not scary to me. You're, you're encouraging me to just keep running. Anything over here I need to care about? I don't think so. Give me this. How's this do? Nothing. How about a chair? Okay. That chair was apparently made of titanium. You have to be swift. When you I am being swift. I'm running as fast as I can. You hear Why is everything locked? I got a key for something. The wine cellar. I, again, I'm looking at this desk. I'm not seeing anything scary. Now that I've finished this area, does an enemy pop out or am I just still kind of running through? History of Loki. History of places. Or of place. Okay, so there is an enemy. I don't think he attacks just yet, unless you're too aggressive. Enemies really like the light, so I'm gonna put that away. He's he's having some stomach problems, so we're just gonna let him go. How do I get out of here? I think he's over there, because it's really wavy. Alright, there we go. Ow! Ow! What's hitting me? What was that? Oh, it was this thing. Okay. Wine cellar key. We need to go to the wine cellar. I thought the enemy followed me through the door. I didn't think they could do that. I don't think they could do that, but we'll see. Alright, wine cellar! Where we going? The cellar is usually at the bottom, but I think this is how I got into the hall, isn't it? Ow! Can't get in there. Okay, cool. Wonderful! Old archives. There's a laboratory. Wine cellar! Can't you just use it automatically? Yeah, I think there is an enemy that comes down here. But only... Once you finish, like, a third of the area, like, you finish a couple a couple of these sections. Look, I, I, I moved giant rocks when I moved in. They are not that easy. They are extremely heavy. Well, let's go help them. Look at that. If you just walked in the door instead of just cowering in fear, we could have saved him. I'm hearing footsteps. So that could just be hallucinations like this. Uh, that, that definitely seems like an enemy. So I'm just gonna let that go for now. We're just gonna run. So if enemy is nearby, so enemy is definitely nearby. The game is telling me that. For certain. We're gonna go ahead and do these. What is this? Laudanum. Increase your health. Okay. Oh, shit. Did you see me? Apparently not. I don't know why, but whatever. Yeah, it's scary, wonderful, miserable, great, wonderful. Leave it, leave it alone. Sometimes things are just scary, man. You just gotta deal with it. I don't know where shithead went. Why did you close the door? Don't close doors. The doors are the landmarks to show that I've actually done this. Okay. Yeah, sometimes the walls scream, man. It just happens. Yes, yes, yes. It's very scary. Here's a lantern. Shut up. I don't need you yelling in my ear every three seconds. So, I'm in a rock and a hard place here. Either I sit in the darkness and don't get caught by him, or... I don't and get caught by him. 
I'm sure there are some people who watch this and like, how are you not scared? I'm like, ah, just scary games don't work on me. They really don't. Stay in the light, try to reach it. Hey, man! I'm trying to make progress. You keep slamming doors in my face. Uh, this this effect is not nice. This effect is not playing well with me. I would rather you did not do this. I don't know what's happening. Am I dying? Where did that enemy go? He's literally just disappeared. He just bounced. He had other things to do. Uh oh. Okay. I remember this. And you just sit there. Alright, so I need to go over here. Come over here. Yep, that's why. You gotta get your ass beat. Okay. I don't know where you are. I'm just gonna run and hope that you can't catch me. Is this it? Is this where I'm supposed to go? I don't remember. Please jump on this. Is there another ladder? Is there something I'm missing? There's a tinder box. Oh, loud item. I'm probably gonna use that because my screen is all messed up. Yay, I can see again. For now, how's my lantern doing? Not doing well. I don't know where he went. Okay, please don't close on me. Thank you. Okay, because I know that's timed. I need to throw this over there. Okay, run. It's one of these boys. Is he coming after me? He is. Jeez, hey, asshole! I gave you a food. I gave you food. Dead flesh connectors. I know that. I tried that. The problem is he wants a live flesh. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, he's here. Damn it. Get away from me. Uh, I, I, lost. I gotta pull this door out. Damn. This door was a pull, not a push. And we out skis. Never mind. We not out skis. Oh, I'm getting pummeled skis. Where's the lockpick? <gasps> there it is. Please, please pick that up. Please pick it up. Please pick it up. Please pick it up. Thank you. So I think it wants me to go over there. Cool. I'm gonna check out this fountain though. With whatever weird design choice this was. about legs here. And no body. Oh, we got a baby face. This is unsettling. I have no means to defend myself. Okay. Well, thanks for cheating. I feel like the game shouldn't tell me that. The game should not tell me that I need to hide. And this is what I mean. When the game tells you you need to hide, you have no means to defend yourself. Like, I, 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 I get that. But I've, one, I've already seen enemies before. And because of this, I think the enemies actually couldn't attack me. I think they kind of disappeared. Which makes sense because I couldn't find the other dude. And for this, like, it... 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 it uh... It very clearly means that there's no tension, because I can't get attacked if I follow the game's rules. Bones! I found bones! I don't know why I thought it was so scary. I mean, I see that every day. Granted, I kill a lot of people, but that's on me. What the hell are you? Is that a rolling pin? Flow cycle rod. Sure. It's definitely a rolling pin. You gotta make a cake. Okay, it is a sur absurdly dark in this bitch. I see you. Do you see me? I think you do. Oh no! Ah, oh man, he got a man. He's got a right hook. Don't venture too far, man. This dude, just, it's not fair. This man just came in me. It's just the strength of Hercules. All right, where am I? Do I still have my thing? I got the drill part. Okay, so it saved it there. This is exactly why I wanted auto save and was not playing it hard. The first time I played this, my lantern had run out here, and I had no more oil, so I was just wandering in the dark. Are you down here? I heard some noises. Do I just throw something at you? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Run! Ow! My me! I hurt all of my me! Anybody else down here? Do I need to worry about this? Can I just run through? 
You guys gonna be mean to me? Do 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 do. do, do. Gonna... Hey, buddy, how you doing? Goodbye. Ah, uh, would you please stop doing this? Shit, he sees me. Run! Is there anything of importance in here, or is this just an enemy spawn? God, it is dark in this bitch. Can you, with your stupid wide open mouth? I can't. I don't know why I did that. Well, this is useless. Where are you? Ow! Can I heal? All right, we're just gonna run because I'm at a cut out of time, and I have things to do. I don't think there's anything of use in that room besides that tinderbox, which I will get that later. Goodbye, sir. You suck. Get a mean right hook. Yes, yes, yes. It's very scary. Oh, there's another one. Of course there's another one. Oh, it is so blurry. It is so disorienting. And we're out. Ow, oh, we're not out. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he almost got me. That was bad. Uh, I am out of healing things. What do I have? Power cycle, Trinity, falls. Okay. No, I did pick up the rod. Never mind. I picked it up a long time ago. I'm a moron. So as it turns out, the note told me to do it in the wrong order. Usually, you would go left to right. It told me to do the things in right to left order. And that is why it took me forever to figure that out. How annoying. Is this working now? Is this, is this doing everything it needs to do? What more work do you need? Oh, this is a fast elevator. This is the fastest elevator in the world. I'm home. What's for dinner? All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I am out of time. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell to be notified of future videos. Although I do think Amnesia is a good game and I think it's well designed, it is not really for me. It doesn't really speak to my style of horror. When I am up front with an enemy, uh, it's going to be pitch black, unfortunately. <laughs> when you, when I'm up front with an enemy and I only have the option to hide or run, I'm just going to run forward and try to evade the monster. If I'm going to get hit, I'm going to get hit. Because that's to me, that's better than running, hiding, getting caught and being hit anyway, or running, hiding, sneaking around, getting caught. Like, it's just, to me, it's just a waste of time. Sure, I can hide and then run around and then escape them that way and not get hit. But for me, I'd rather just spend the time to run around them and get hit, and maybe not, as it happened here. But other than that, I will play Outlast, I'll play Alien Isolation. Both games of, both are games that have the similar style. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Wale te omnis.